what is going on guys it's your boy Damon again and we are back with another video guys it's been a while since I have posted a video guys because I'm actually busy at work and at the same time um, running our business and something so in today's video guys we are going to make our arboreal enclosure I have here two um, aquariums which will be used for our arboreal setup guys so we will be making this enclosure for our so anyways guys we have here our cocoa peat our cork bark and some sort of uh, branch and here's our live plants so I just got this one outside on the sidewalk and we have here our aquarium guys so this is around four inches for the width, six inches for the length, and eight inches for the height. So first we have here our cocoa peat. By the way guys, I'm using a live blend because the tarantula that we will be adding in here is not much of a Weber, but you know, I just want to add some sort of colors inside, you know, um, some sort of a bioactive enclosure. So as always, we need to compress the substrate, guys, because tarantulas don't like the um, some sort of a soft substrate or something like that. Next one will be our plant right here. Oh, you can just find this one outside or um, on the sidewalk or something like that. So uh, this is this is a bit challenging because the enclosure is a bit tight inside. There we go. Now it's time to add the cork box. So since this will be a right, so since this will be a arboreal setup, so we need to add this one on the side. So in that way the tarantula will be able to build their their webbings on the side. And last one will be our water. So we need to at least water the plants. So here is our new arboreal enclosure, guys. I actually also made another one. But um, there's not much designs in here or live plant because let me just show you guys there we go 
So the one in here, I did not add much plants because, you know, because the tarantula that we will be adding here is a messy guy or, you know, they love to uh, renovate stuff or something like that. Now the one in here, the one in here doesn't do much or, you know, based on my research, they just tend to, you know, go at the back of the cork barks and do their webbings in there. So they don't much renovate stuff and something like that. So um, yeah, I guess that should be all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. And if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos where we talk about pets and gaming. See ya!